was there. Catherine wants <laughs> you guys to know that I'm wearing a holiday sweater, okay? Yes. It's just really important to her that you know that. Hey guys, it's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls, and we've got our second video in our How to Vegan the Holiday series. And it's la, 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 la. <laughs> On today's menu, we made stuffing and roast vegetables. Stuffing. Vegetables. <laughs> and they're really easy, guys, so. They're really easy, and they go well with any holiday meal. Pretty much. So whether or not you're making what we made in our last videos, our lentil loaf and mashed potatoes, this goes well with anything. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Here's how I make it. Dice a small baguette and add to a large bowl. Chop two celery stalks into thin slices. Add to your bowl. Dice one medium apple and add to your bowl. Mix all ingredients until incorporated. Add a half cup of vegetable stock, a quarter cup of white wine, three tablespoons of ground sage, a teaspoon of onion, a teaspoon of garlic, and a teaspoon of pepper. Mix until all combined. Add to a lined baking dish. Trim off any excess parchment paper. Cover your pan with tin foil and bake in an oven preheated to 350 for approximately 40 minutes. Using your choice of squash, cut in half and scrape out the insides. Rinse and pat dry, then slice that into half inch pieces. Add your slices to a bowl and add a tablespoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of nutmeg and cinnamon, and a tablespoon of agave. Mix that all together so it's all evenly coated. Add your slices to a lined baking sheet and make sure they're not overlapping each other. Cut off about an inch from the bottom of your asparagus and lay them flat on a lined baking sheet. Drizzle with some olive oil and sprinkle salt and pepper to taste. Bake at 350 for 20 minutes. And those are two really easy vegan side dishes that you can make and that anyone will really love. So like there are simple things that if you make a stuffing recipe already and you don't want to make ours, you can easily make stuffing vegan and everyone can eat it. So, mm -hmm. but ours is better. So, oh. <laughs> well, we have to find out if it's better. We have We've made it. it before. We've recipe tested, right? Devin? I, I've We're never prepared. tried it. I know. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's yummy. Yeah. I really like the apple flavor in it. Right? And you can really pick any apples. I don't even know what apples we picked. <laughs> but they're really sweet apples, and I think I like it. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know if I would like it with, like, no. <laughs> like, sour no. apples. No. <laughs> All right. We're going to try the veggies now. Cinnamon and nutmeg are good on everything. Mmm. Mmm. Right? Whoa. It's so good. That flavor, it really hits you, like, mm -hmm. in a good way. And the asparagus is, like, my go-to for, like, every meal. Mm. All right. You can't go wrong with roasted asparagus. No. Yeah, asparagus is amazing. It's good for any meal. I love this flavor. Yum. And I kind of, I like these sides because with our video last week, it was pretty, it was a pretty heavy dish. Everything mm -hmm. was pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. A lot of potato and the lentil loaf was pretty heavy and everything. So this is like nice light sides to have with it. Mm -hmm. 
Alright guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and these recipes to help you get into the holidays. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have new recipe videos out every Sunday and new whatever Wednesdays every other Wednesday. We also have whatever Wednesday this week. Stay tuned, it's a good one. Mm-hmm. Part three in the <laughs> three in the how to vegan the holidays. We're excited for you to see it. So excited. Bye! Happy holidays. See you Wednesday. On the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, a kitten in a crib.